Hello, my name's Ken Knight. I'm from Princess Brokerage International. We're here on a beautiful sunny morning in Swanwick on the River Hamble, and we've got a real treat. We're going to have a look around Ruby 2. She's a nearly new F55, and uh, we'd love to show you around. So we're just cruising down the Hamble today. It's a beautiful day and uh, it's a real treat to be on such a glorious boat on uh, a beautiful day like this. The F55 really has everything that a boat owner could possibly want for UK application. It's a really good sized flybridge. We've got all the controls and uh, instruments that we could hope to have. It's a three cabin boat. Um, and this example, Ruby 2, has just got so much fitted. Um, lots of options ticked and she is in effect a nearly new example. Um, she provides a, a saving both in time and cost over a new example and uh, the, the diligent owner that bought this boat, like I say, chose very well with the options that he selected uh, and we'll, we'll unpack those as we go along. But in principle here at the, the helm on the flybridge we've got a really commanding view as we just poodle down the handle. This boat's got a joystick which is unusual because we're also on shaft so it's not an IPS boat but we get all the advantages that that brings in terms of close quarter maneuverability um, and then that's also paired with our variable speed bow and stern thruster as well so although it's a, it's a good sized vessel it's actually very maneuverable very easy to handle for someone that's relatively new to boating uh, or, or akin to someone that maybe is stepping up to a, a larger boat in their boat ownership journey. So we've got still a little bit of traffic to manoeuvre but on this boat everything is pretty much a breeze we've got really strong engines lots of drive from the uh, shaft driven layout that we've got on this boat and if that's not enough we've got a proportional bow and stern thrusters and a joystick so you really are spoilt for choice um, when you come to manoeuvre this boat whichever situation you find yourself in we've got a couple of vessels around us and you just don't feel phased when you're driving this boat lots of boat weight keeps very planted when you're underway and uh, it's not easily affected by the uh, by the elements like i say it's a glorious day we're just pottling down the uh down the handle at five and a half knots we've got the engines in just over tick over and uh yeah what's there not to enjoy about this boat i'm excited about showing a bit more so uh, let's go and explore a bit further so here we are back on the berth in Swanwick Marina. Lovely to be out there on the river, sunny day on a beautiful boat. What's there not to like? Um, what we're going to try and do is go through the boat and provide a little bit more of the detail and just explain everything that this boat's got to offer because uh, I'm sure I missed something because there is a multitude of things on this boat. So on the flybridge, I think one of the reasons this boat is so successful is just the space of this flybridge. It's very generous. It can easily accommodate eight people around this, uh, this seating. If you've got a large family or friends, we can make the table smaller as needed. But when it's deployed, can easily get three maybe even four director's chairs around here as well so yeah lovely large space for entertaining this uh, table is serviced by the wet bar that we've got up here so we've got the uh, canyon grill we've got our sink we've got bin a little bit more storage so yeah very easy on a nice summer's day to have a bit of barbecue and entertain up here which would be a joy so we move forward um, we go to the helm station on this boat this boat's got an allure pack fitted, so the allure pack with Princess gives lots of uh, enhanced finishes, I think is probably the best way of positioning it. Um, one of which is this beautiful painted oyster finish we get around the dashboard rather than the standard white gel coat. Like I say, it just elevates the finish. We get it in the helm seats as well, so we've got this beautiful diamond stitching, um, just makes it that much more special. Um, the helm station here is very well equipped, so we've got the things we'd expect to see, large Garmin displays, our instrument data on a, a separate uh, Volvo Penta um, display. But what we've also got on this boat is proportional bow and stern thrusters. So that gives us the ability to pin the boat against the dock and leave the helm station, help the crew tie up or family members tie up the boat. Just gives you that much more flexibility. This is a shaft driven boat uh, on, on the Volvos, but what we've also got on this boat is a joystick, which is quite unusual. So that will take over the control of the boat. If you want to crab it sideways, that will take control of the main engines, the bow and the stern thruster, and then it will independently control the rudders. So it takes a lot of the, the thinking out of what, what's happening on this boat, which is very, very clever. 
Other options that the owner ticked and selected when he built this boat, we've got a bimini on this boat. It's uh, upgraded in the sense that it's powered, so it can be deployed at the touch of a button, and we just manually engage the stays. And it's also got lighting in it as well. So if you're a nice summer's evening, it gives you a nice entertaining space in the evening to enjoy with uh, friends and family. Got other little functions. We've got a chain counter on here, um, which the owner specified. And then we've obviously got, naturally got covers for the whole, all the elements up here. But then there's also a tonneau cover, an overall winter cover. So this uh, teak deck can be really well protected and is in fantastic condition. I think we're going to have a look at the fore deck. So as we move forward on the port side, we've got this nice high guard rail, and it's well over my hip height. So hopefully it feels safe for everyone that's uh, on board for doing lines and fenders. And on the lines and fenders point, we've got this good locker, good sized locker on the port side. It's easy to swallow those lines and fenders, saves them how to be taken aft, just makes it that much easier for moving around the boat. And then we arrive up on the foredeck, there's this glorious Portuguese seating area. We've got this lifting, raising backrest, so very comfortable. You can collapse them down, but even when they're up, they don't really impede your uh, your visibility when you're at the lower helm. So even the anchoring arrangement on this boat has not uh, escaped this owner's attention to detail. We've got an upgraded Lumar stainless steel anchor, which looks lovely, very fitting of a boat of this calibre when you're in the marina. But she's also got 20 metres of chain in addition to what she's normally equipped with and uh, chain counters at both helm stations just to give you more flexibility uh, and precision when you come to uh, anchoring. So here we are on the aft deck of Ruby 2. It's a very nice space, generous like uh, we've come to expect on this boat. I just walked back on these beautiful teak steps. So this is a, an upgrade the owner went for. It's got an enhanced lighting pack on this boat. So you've got more external lighting. We've also got these very deep noses, teak noses, just gives it a very contemporary modern feel. Also, we've got electric line handlers on this boat, both port and starboard, just to aid crew in pulling the boat in, easily controlled by, uh, by foot uh, button down there. And then we've got our high-low platform with the Princess. So this has got a Williams uh, Turbojet 285. It's almost new. It's available by separate negotiation. Um, but yeah, very fitting on a boat of this calibre. We've got our standard U-shaped seating here on the aft deck. Table which can be uh, deployed if we want more people around it. Beautiful finish with uh, grain matching throughout the, the length of the table. And then we've also got a canvas that we can enclose this area in if it's, it's less clement than today. Um, but yeah, nice sunny day, you keep that off. So we've got crew accommodation, which is in our starboard aft quarter here. It's a useful cabin, could be used for families, friends. A lot of people use it for storage, but it's a very well appointed cabin. It's got air conditioning as well, um, so it gives you some flexibility. So straight away as we walk into this saloon on Ruby 2, you're just struck with the, the size, the beam, the space and the light. It's just fantastic. We've got these huge aperture windows, bathe the area in light. It's, uh, it's a lovely space for multiple people to enjoy in this saloon, but we can easily control that with blinds if we want a little bit more privacy as well. This boat's finished with a satin walnut a joinery package, and then we've also got this enhanced uh, limestone leather, which is really nice, soft touch, and just gives a beautiful finish, very tactile. The arrangement of this boat is a galley aft arrangement, so it's a well-equipped galley. We've obviously got the window deployed up, just makes it very open. We can easily service that aft deck. Full-size fridge, freezer, storage everywhere you look on this boat, uh, oven, four hob induction burner, sink, and then we've got a large um, dishwasher here as well. If that's not enough uh, cold storage for you, on the starboard side here, in this beautifully sculptured um, sideboard, Princess have got a ice maker and a fridge, and then you've got the obligatory glassware as well. So it's almost like a, a drinks bar station in its own right. We do have this lovely finish on this boat um, throughout lots of curves, lots of design features, um, but Princess making the most of the storage along the way. A couple of steps up here into the main saloon. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely space. We've got this settee arrangement, two opposite each other, makes for a very social arrangement. 
you can get lots of people up here in comfort, um, which is really nice. We've got a high-low TV here, so that's on actuator, so we can have that stowed away. If we want to enjoy a more scenic view than the uh, marina that we've got today. You can have the privacy from the blinds if needs be, so it just gives you flexibility. Talking of flexibility, we've got this lovely big table, uh, which is an option on this boat, so it's a high-low, so electronically controlled. So we can have it set up as a coffee table with the leaves folded, or we can raise it up and have the leaves deployed and get more people round. But you're spoiled for choice as to where you eat on this boat, lots of options. move forward we've got electric windows both on the port side and on the starboard so it means you can naturally ventilate the boat or just use it for communicating with people on deck but it is fully air conditioning with reverse cycle this boat so whether it's a heating you want or air conditioning in the summer months you've got it covered so here we are at the lower helm station we've got the same beautiful seats that we've got up on the flybridge for this uh, diamond stitch quilting and it's just a very comfortable place to drive the boat from I've got excellent visibility when I look out, even with the backrests up, they don't really impede your visibility much, which is great. Obviously the window opens, so it makes it very easy to communicate with people on deck. We've got the same layout as we're familiar with upstairs. We've got our two multifunction Garmin displays, several inputs into that. We've got a CCTV camera, which is giving us our aft docking, so very easy when we're coming into the berth, it really aids that uh, maneuver. We've got AIS functionality coming into the boat so we can identify other vessels and then we've got radar plugged in as well. So other noteworthy options that are fitted to this boat is the Seakeeper Gyro Stabilizer. It's a significant option to choose when you're buying a boat from new but in modern boating terms it makes a massive difference to the stability of the boat. It keeps it very flat and level regardless of what the weather can throw at you and then that's paired with an upgraded Onan 17.5 kilowatt generator to power that system and the rest of the boat. In terms of big bits of equipment and machinery, there's none larger than the main engine. So in this boat, we've got Volvo D13s, gives 1800 horsepower on tap. And one thing that's particularly uh, desirable is the fact she's got an extended warranty. So it's a Volvo five-year warranty that comes with this boat. And that would be transferable to the new owner and bring peace of mind, which is uh, really helpful. So here we are, sort of lower lobby area as we step down into the accommodation of the boat. Still got lots of lights, a big cutaway on this boat, which is really nice. It's a three cabin boat. We've got a starboard cabin, which is set up as a twin, but the touch of a button that converts into a double, so it gives you flexibility as to how that cabin can be used. We've got our VIP cabin forward. So it's a center island berth, really nicely appointed cabin. And you've got two heads on this boat. So we've got one on the port side here, Jack and Jill door that could be accessed from that VIP or used as a day head or servicing this third cabin. So what I'm really dying to show you is the master cabin on this boat, which is absolutely beautiful. Let's go and have a look. So here we are, midship's master cabin. And what a beauty it is on this boat light it's bright we've got these huge windows uh, you can ventilate the boat naturally if you want to with the opening portholes but the air conditioning will do a good job regardless of the time of year but it just feels very clean and contemporary we've got indirect lighting we've got these lovely textures that just feel very classic and enduring it's just a very clean modern space to enjoy we've got flat floors all the way around the berth so there's no steps so it's easy for getting in and out we've got really good headroom so even if you're taller than me you're sure to uh, not hit your head and then one of the things I really like about this boat is just this little uh, area princess of optimised on the port side here. Got this table, so if you are unfortunately able to do a little bit of work on board, you've got someone to have, bring a laptop out, some privacy away from everyone else on deck. This boat's got an enhanced Wi-Fi system, so you're sure to get reception down here. It's not going to be a problem when you do have to uh, do a little bit of work. We've also got a strong AV package on this boat, so what that means is each cabin's got a dedicated TV and its own AV system as well. So if you want somewhere private and not watching TV up in the, on the saloon, then you've got options on this boat. So then we've got our heads compartment on this boat, which is on the port side. It's obviously private to this cabin. Access through this pocket door 
very nicely appointed uh, classic princess really generous shower area this boat's got the optional heated uh, towel rail as well which is a nice function and then we've also got a washer dryer on this boat which is just outside the cabin so if you do need to do some washing or some of the uh, more mundane things than you can do as well. I really hope you enjoyed the tour of Ruby 2 today, I've enjoyed bringing it to you. It's been a beautiful day out there and this is an absolutely stunning model so uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. I think in summary what this boat offers is a real opportunity for a buyer that's serious in the market, there's an opportunity in terms of saving on time the lead time for one of these new now is the mid end 2024. This, this example is available straight away. You couldn't want for a better condition of the boat. The owner is fastidious. The specification is so long and varied. I'm sure there's plenty I've missed off the options list as we've gone through the video today. And then she also offers a saving in terms of cost. This is uh, much more aggressively priced than a new example. So hopefully there's lot, lots for a new owner to get benefit from, including that Volvo warranty, which is five years. If you'd like to see the full specification on this boat, please do look at our website, which is princess.co.uk. You can see the 3D tour of the boat, the full photos, the video tour, and importantly, the price. And I think with the, uh, the sun setting, it's time for us to wrap it up. Thank you very much for your time today. <laughs>